got his crappies. He done got his crappies. Done got Shane Campbell. Yes. Mayor of Bassville. It's me. Today it's Crappieville Fishing Freaks. We're going out on Sam Rayburn Reservoir, baby, going after them tasty crappies. You fishing freaks love that last catch and cook with me and Ocean Spoon Girl. I only had one crappie in there. Mostly sand bass or white bass, depending on what part of the country you're in. I'm with the dude that knows where these crappies live. And we're gonna have a little crappie competition today, are we? I think so. We got another boat on the water. The uh, gauntlet was thrown. The gauntlet has been thrown down. We've been challenged to a, a crappie uh, challenge. Anyway, the point is, crappies are really tasty. They kind of live and associate amongst bass. It's kind of like jackals and, and lions a little bit, I sure. guess you could say, if you sure. want to do an African safari reference right there. Let's go get some crappies. Let's have a little fun, and then let's get them in the grease. We got our, our competition is on its way right now. We got another crappie fishing team that's coming out here trying to beat us, so we're trying to get in the water as fast as we can. All right, he's unhooked. Let's pull out. Let's get going. That's what you call an East Texas unicorn right there. The old scooter with a mercury on it. <laughs> East Texas unicorn. That's an East Texas like unicorn, it. baby. Today we are running in Shane's old big blue boat. Yeah. This thing is uh, it's big enough to handle it all. Go team. What's our team name? Oh, I like Sokolai Slayers. Sokolai Slayers? Sokolai Slayers, baby. Look at that. Thumbs up, hashtag Sokolai Slayers. We're gonna win it today. We're gonna bring home the, uh, the crappie fillets. It's gonna be a, a masterful victory. You're gonna watch, watch it happen. Orange fishing line. I'm gonna be fishing the, uh, the Phantom Series favorite rod. This is a six foot uh, medium action. It's probably a little stiff for crappies, but it'll do for today's purposes. Why orange? Because it matches my hat, and I just felt like it. I walked in the store. Yeah, I walked in the Shane store, and I was like, "Look at that orange line right there. I gotta have I gotta it. Gotta have that. It matches my hat just right. So, confidence is key when you're catching any fish. I'm 120% confident today because I look good, I feel good. I've got Tony Robbins embodying the spirit of. I don't know. That was weird. That was a little awkward. Oh yeah, yellow. For all you fishing fans out there that don't know what the heck that thing is, that is called a marker buoy. What we do is we take that, we, we go over the structure with the electronics. Shane's got two, uh, two big electronics right here. He's got one for mapping and one for looking at the bottom. And when he goes over something that uh, looks like it has crappie on it, any kind of structure down there, he's gonna toss this out somewhere around that and it just gives you a uh, above the water visual reference so you can go back around and we're gonna be doing some vertical jigging today. So uh, it's just a visual aid that helps you stay right on top of the fish. Yeah, that's there's, what I'm talking about. There's a few in there. Seriously, what is that yeah, thing called? Yeah, it's called Mega Imaging. Mega Imaging. Yeah. That stuff looks really legit, man. Super high definition. Kind of cheating. You could almost see the outline of the actual species of fish. It, it could almost be considered cheating. Those are all crappie? Yeah, well it's crappie and brush. And brush, but definitely fish in there. I'm gonna start off with a little cricket. Uh, somebody sent me this to the, uh, the LFGPO box. There Let's get right to the business. I go yeah, one I'm, big pull. I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more. Uh, and down. Dude, I feel like we're Star Wars uh, lightsaber. Lightsabers on these crappie right now. It's orange and chartreuse. Oh, got him. We're hooked up. First crappie. Oh, that's a bass. bass. Dang. Is that what we got down there? That'll eat too. Dang, he wanted my he wanted my cricket, dude. We're going after crappie, right? Okay. Okay. Hey, I got me a bluegie. He couldn't resist the larva. It's a slow sinking larva. Shane, can you pronounce this? You're a cultured man. Oh. I don't read uh, Russian letters. Well, I think this is Russian, guys. So, uh, got some Russian crickets we're working with here. The Russian cricket is best. 
mixed with this shot of vodka. Shane with a big winner. First crappie oh. in the boat, baby. Fish fillet. All right, let's stick it in the live well. Yep. Here we go. A little aqua going. Shane's on. Oh, that's oh. a slab donkey. Back at. Look at that, Dang baby. Woo. That one's going to be tasty. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to switch up my little cricket here. I told you what the juice was. Yeah, you're right. You and those Russian larvae. We got three crappies in the live well. Two of them are, uh, are toads, is what you could say. They're going to be nice, thick, juicy fillets and some crispy goodness. Whew. Can't wait to get my mouth around that. Less wind and waves. This should be just right for uh, the old little jig right here. I'm getting hit. It's like they're just nibbling the tail. They just eat a minnow so well out here. And if we have all. How close are we to the minnows? Like three minutes. Three minutes we could go get minnows? Yep. Oh, I think we could come back here and just get them? Yeah. You make the call, dude. I'm willing to try it. Oh my god, oh, it came off. They're biting our jigs, but they're not they're not staying latched here. Folks, I think if we go get live minnows, it's very tempting because we're just around the corner from live minnow purchasing opportunity. We could come back to this brush pop potentially and sack them up. Let's do it. We're doing it. <laughs> Gotta go small on them crappies. Get one of these mineral buckets. Thanks. Oh yes, now we have the sweet nectar. So we're actually, we're violating the rules of our competition right now by purchasing these minnows, but it's frustrating when you're sitting on a spot, getting bites but, and they're not eating it and you need food. Little uni knot. Okay, these little pinch weights. Just kind of slide them in there and pinch them with the pliers. Two weights, got our hook. Gonna take our little crappy minnow. Gonna go right up through the schnoz. Just like this. Okay. Now the brush pile, we're sitting in 18 feet of water, but the pile comes up to eight. Eight feet. So that's where we're positioning our bait. You always want to have it higher than what the fish are. They tend to look up. Get nibbled. Get nibbled. Got him. Oh, another little one. Now guys, this is the same exact pile we were just on with the jigs. Oh, you got him? A little better one? Oh yeah, dude, what the crap? You get the, you get the bigger ones. Oh, oh, dude, that one felt like a decent one. These live minnows are making all the difference in the world right here. Got him. Oh yes, come here, baby. Oh, there we go. Tasty! Look how paper thin their mouths are there guys oh my just that might be a bass no it's a crappie he just inhaled it nice little crappie that one absolutely got it they like a little side movement got him oh yes oh yeah. tasty taco yeah now, these little crappies they're small, but they're so delicious. This is gonna be great. We're gonna put them in some grease tonight, right Shane? Yeah. We got a few. We're working on something here. Now our competition, our co-parts, they're somewhere on the lake. They've only got one so far, but what we haven't told them is we went and got live bait. It had to be done, had to get serious. So we got a good sack going now. Oh yeah, Shane's hooked up. J -j -j Never mind. Not a giant. Got him. Oh, that might be a good one. Might have ourselves a good one. No. Nope. He'll do it. There's a slab donkey. Ah. Yes! Biggest one of the day, baby! Oh, look at that. That's literally a slab. Oh, he might be 14, dude. That's a big one. Big one. Big one. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. You can see you can see the divots in the ground. You can see every little tree and log, and then look at this. You can actually see the oh, crappie, crappie in the, up in the brush. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Let's get him. Game on! Oh, goodness, look at 
your eyebrows. And a crack. <sighs> it's just good to be on Sam Raber today. Oh, no. Oh, I got it that time. Oh, we thumped it hard. And it's a little guy. Put the biggest minnow on in there. You're unhooking these. It's kind of best to grab them right behind the face right there on their gill plates. Kind of squeeze that in. That locks them in. They don't know what to do. Feels like a good one. Oh, that's it. That's a keeper, though. It's a keeper. Oh, my. You see that? Just thumped it hard. Look at that crop. Yeah. I like it. I like when you don't even have to think about measuring them. What do you have? Is that a bass? That's a bass, yeah. No, not, I was about to say. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's, yeah, he was fighting really hard. Yeah, I was like, please be a crappie. Freaking state record crappie. So the bass live down there as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on now. Keep her in. Oh! You little paper mouth. Oh, he floated me. He did. He's still floating. You sure? Oh, we did. You're right. You're right. It's a bass. That's why. Oh, he he had it. Got him. That'll do. That's right now. Oh, tasty. Oh yeah. Got a Megan. Good one, dude. Good one. Oh, flip him. Oh, flip him. Yeah. That's rock. Volume six. Keeper, oh, baby. Yeah. That's a slab. That's a slab. And in the boot. Yes, sir. That's a good one, dude. Double hooked. Little guys. I think we've done. We scraped them out. Scraped them out, dude. Look at this one. This is very interesting. Look at that black strap down its back. That's crazy. I've looking. never seen a fish with that before. Pretty cool. That's cool. Back into the drink. Well, you think we cleared it out? I think we did good, man. I think we did all right. It's pretty solid. I don't know what we're gonna tell the other boys. <sighs> we cheated. I feel bad about it, but we've we got so dinner. many keeper fish and we have dinner, so they can't be too mad at us. But we definitely forfeited the competition. We're not gonna tell them until we're done cleaning the fish. Or what's we left might, over? We're probably not even gonna tell them until this video is up. They can just find out then. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're gonna dump the evidence. Dumping the evidence. There we go. It never happened. Didn't happen. Tire jigs back on. We're having dinner. We're having dinner. It's time to fry them up, baby. Nitro Pro. Aaron Griffin. What now? Uh, what was the secret to the success? Uh, what was the secret to the success, uh, CD? Were we yeah, using Berkeley niblets? Yeah, niblets. niblets. Whoa, I thought we said no fly on the niblets. Hey, that's not live bait. Not well, live bait. It's smelly bait. It's not it's smelly. Bait. It's smelly it's bait. Uh, power bait's controversial. Oh, you got some good ones though. Tasty treats. Tasty treats, man. Oh, we're gonna do a count. Chase. It's either that or I can Chase get is the official hey. counter. Three. Three. Slab donkeys, guys. Sam Rayburn showing up with the crappie game today. 18. Wow. That's pretty salty. Huh? They might have us, dude. I doubt it. <laughs> 19. You got any one more? 20. We got a solid 20 in there with maybe 21. one more. Lucky 21. Uh -oh. One more. Do you got oh. one more? I got two more. 22, 22. son. Our sack can officially drink a cold Coors Light. 23. Oh, yeah. Together. Dad, good. We should have stayed a little longer. 22 to 23. 23. 23. 23, baby. 23 and 19 and a half. That's what job, I'm talking guys. about. Good Just job. solid victory. Oh, hell, I can't, I can't let you. Nice. <laughs> what was the key bait that y'all used today, sir? That was yours? Oh, yeah, that's a very that? nice. That's a very nice piece right there. Real like, nice choice. Ours was a little different than this yeah, today. Ours we, uh, was a little different. What was your color choice? Pretty, what did you guys pretty, use? Pretty what what was that color now? choice? Monkey milk. This was oh, our, they were using the monkey milk. This was our bait of choice. It worked very well for us. Where, and did once you put the niblets on top. Yes. Yeah, we never had a niblet. Still didn't win. We didn't, we didn't niblet use crappie niblet. niblets. We would have never got these fish to hang on. These dang cheaters. We overcame though. We we overcame. Nobody saw that. 
All I know is that's two delicious baskets of fish right there. We're about to fry these bad boys up. Bam! Look here. Like you've been here before. You might be able to read through that, huh? What do you think? It's so sanitary. Is it? Right next yeah. to a dirty, nasty, muddy tire, here we are getting fish out of the basket that I have cleaned and made all prepared nice and pretty to fulfill our eating enjoyments this evening. This is man meals. This That's isn't, we're not exactly. serving Exactly. This, this isn't yeah. restaurant code by no means. Exactly. But we this is going to be absolute yummy goodness right here, baby. Ooh. God, that is delicious. Look at the pure meat. God, that was yes. pure white. Yes. Mm. I think it's still moving in the bag. It's wriggling a little bit. <laughs> What do you think? Either one. You, got it? you don't need any. Mm -mm. Mm. God, it's good. <laughs> There's nothing God. like a fresh fried crappie. No. This is one of my favorite freshwater fish to eat. Just fried up here, crispy fresh. Fresh. Let's see how it is. Man, there's almost nothing better than that right there. That sweet white flaky meat oh my goodness that's delicious mmm just falls right apart in your mouth now I know Ocean Spoon Girl she cooked these up baked them up the other night she's not a big fan of the fried fried foods but there ain't nothing better than a fried fresh crappie I'm telling you mm. Mm. that's really good hot feet's coming out bud good job gentlemen Shane, what would you contribute the uh, the success to today? <laughs> uh, in one word? Well, I have a word in mind. I just. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep this our little secret. So I got to thank the Tackle Attic Boys for uh, for helping us get on the crappie today and making this delicious fish happen. Guys, if you've never tried crappie fishing. I definitely recommend it. If you want to come out to Sam Rayburn Lake and do it, it's a great lake to do it on. Uh, there's a ton of crappie guides out here, but if you just want to come out and try it in your bass boat or in your kayak or whatever you got going on, there's tons of brush piles out here. The fish that we found today, Shane had never even been to those piles before. We just went out there, we found them, marked them with that mega imaging, and there was tons of fish on them. So I got a question for you guys. What is the most fish you've ever caught out of one single spot? We were seeing tons of fish using that mega imaging off those single brush by single spots. So let everybody know in the comments, what is the most fish you've ever snagged off of one area? That's it for today's Catch a Cook, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to check out Tackle Attic, the link will be down below. And if you want to check out all the LFG merch, and all the other stuff we use today, links will be down below too. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna shout out on these delicious crappies and we'll catch you guys on the next video.